Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Rahawah Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. And Shalom to the Hofi Lek that's uh, continually plowing his work, that's uh, laboring to enter into the rest, which is our reward and our faith and sincerity. Shalom. Now, the topic of this video is going to be entitled The Shaking Has Commenced. All right, and as you can see, I have this image here that uh, I, was, you know, I was led through the spirit as I was going through um, images on Google. And I just so happened to find this image. You know, it, uh, it led me to do this video because, you know, as you can see, you know, the shaking has commenced. And, you know, you see people on the image, you know, falling, falling through, you know, which... You know, you're seeing it happen right now, man. The shaking is, is happening right now. The shaking has commenced. The house the house of Israel, the ones that who know that they're Hebrew Israelites, all right, is being shaken, okay? And uh, guys are falling through, man. All right? What time y'all close? Uh, 11. Okay. Just like you. But yeah, man, guys are falling through because... Now the the standard has been set, and guys are getting offended because you you know what y'all you can't even really find a good explanation to why guys fall out because the standard has been set because I mean for one thing you know you have to be uh, uh offended or either you have to be either one offended or two you just don't like order all right or three you just don't you don't like uh, restrictions, man. All right, or something along those lines. All right, because I mean, it just all ties down to, to not having discipline. Okay. Because, really, man, that's for the benefit of the brothers that are in Great Millstone to having to do uh, three videos a week. All right. You know, even Apostle Elder Hart went as far to say three. You know, uh, if brothers are on fire. You know, if they're led through the, through the spirit to do this, then, you know, do three videos a day. You know, which it wasn't a commandment, but, you know, it's just something that the Apostle of Tahar threw out there, man. All right? Which, that's through the, that's through the spirit. All right? That's through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And guys get offended because of that, man. All right? And guys actually fell out because of that. Even though this the, the, the commandment was to their benefit, they still fell out. And that's among other things that that uh, came through the pipeline through the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, that uh, brothers, or not even going to call them brothers anymore, you know, guys fall out of this uh, thing of ours. Because, like it says right here on the image, as you can see, it, said, uh, it says the standard is too high, and then they just <laughs> fall through into eternal loss, into obscurity, into darkness. All right? As it says right here on the image, it says some will not stand the shaking. It should say some to many will not stand the shaking. All right, because really the Lord is only looking for the elect, man, 144,000, which is, is like a speck of sand compared to the whole nation of Israel. All right. So, like I said before, the, the shaking has commenced and guys are falling out left and right because of it. Okay, because now the standard has been set. And, you know, guys can't meet that standard, all right? Or they get offended at that standard, all right? But I'm going to go ahead and jump into the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, and the ninth verse. It says, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth, all right? So the Lord is sifting the house of Israel right now, man, Okay? That's that shaking that, that, like the image I just showed earlier. That's the shaking that's going on right now. All right, it's like when you go um, and dig up, you know, a piece of ground, right? Or you, you know, you, you scoop up a piece of ground, right, where where gold is, is silver and precious metals are supposed to be. You shake the the. Uh, it's like a graded. Uh, it's like a, a it's, it's, a, it's a certain device. I don't remember the, the name of it, but it's a certain device where uh, it has a. Uh, a graded screen at the bottom of it and then what you do is you shake it like what I just show you in the image you shake it and then the dirt falls through 
I ran all the, you know, the dirt and, and the um, things that that are within the dirt falls through. And then what you have left is gold and silver and precious metals. All right. And that's, that's not even enough. All right. Even if you do find gold, you know, silver and precious metals, you have to put it through the fire. All right. So, so it can be purified. And that's what you're seeing right now, man. The men of the Lord are being purified by what what we're doing right now. Even to this even to this point right now, brothers are putting up videos. All right. We're being purified by doing that and also uh, going through the uh, afflictions and hardships in this life that we live in right now, man, in this wicked kingdom. Okay. So the Lord is sifting the house of Israel by these things, man. All right. Now, read on. It says, like as a corn, like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And that's right, man. None. The Lord is not going to lose any of his elect men through the shaking, man. All right. It's not going to be like one of us like, oh, man, dang. You know, he fell through. I didn't mean, you know, I didn't mean to do that. No, man. The Lord is going to make sure that the elect, every single member of the elect, all the way to the 144th member is taken care of man okay so I want to go from there I want to get the book of uh, Matthews the uh, 13th chapter uh, I'm going to start at uh, let's see start at verse 20 get to the point it says but he that received the seed into stony places which this is going to the parable of the, the sower Right, that sow seed in different um, different types of uh, environments. Right, it says, but he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and a none with joy receive it. So you know, God's coming to this thing, and you know they wholeheartedly or slacky, they they come into this thing uh, being super duper Israelites, you know, putting on acts, but. Like it says right here in verse 21, it says, yet hath he not root in himself. So even though you receive the word, you know, you receive it with joy, you know, you you were here for a little bit. And then, but then you, you just fall out, man, because you don't have no root. All right. The word did not take root within you. Okay. Now, read us, but dureth for a while. All right. And guys have endured for a while and then they left or either that or they got kicked out. Okay. It says, for when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. All right. So by and by you get offended and they get offended by what? Either tribulation or persecution because of what? The word. All right. Because either they don't want to, you know, they, they're they they're tired of, of, of going through hell and you know, they try to find a way out or they get offended at the word, man. Like it says right here, by and by, he is offended because of the word. Okay. So like I said before, man, guys get offended and they just fall right out because of that. All right. Now, um, let's see, I had another one. It's in the book of Matthew, same same book, Matthew's. Um, let's see. Uh, all right, I'm starting a book, the book of uh, Matthew's the 24th chapter. I'm gonna get to the point at verse 10. It says, "And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another." And we've seen that, man. Guys have fallen out and started pacts. You know, you have. Uh, Guys that fell right out and, you know, they got together, you know, just to just to get at, you know, the men of Great Millstone, you know, even even the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. And then guess what happened? They start they start ended up hating one another. All right. They start going at each other's necks. OK. And that's what that's what usually happens, man. And we've seen it many of times, man. And I, I can bet you the Apostle Elders have seen it millions of times guys fall right out and start packs you know each other they they come come together all right against great millstone and then, and then they just uh, go against each other eventually man okay so uh i had another precept in mind but i can't think of it right now um, it's like you 
Okay, I remember now. The Wadi Yahoo by Shemiel Shai. All right. This um, John the seventeenth chapter, in the uh, twelfth verse said, "While I was with them in the world, all right, and he's with us right now, man." Okay. He says, "I kept them in thy name; those that thou gavest me, I have kept." All right, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. All right. So none of the elect is lost, man. All right. He he's, he has not he's not lost not one member of the elect. Okay. Because Yahweh Shai has been given the elect. All right, and he's not going to lose not one of them, man. Okay. Because the Most High has entrusted the elect men in the hands of Yahweh Shai. All right. Because if you read the John the seventeenth chapter, uh, Yahweh Shai. Is it says multiple times that the Heavenly Father has given him um, his men, the elect. All right. So that so they can all be one in him. All right. And him and the Heavenly Father. So none of the men of the elect are lost. Okay. And none of them are going to be offended in the word. Like other like other guys have been offended in the word. All right. And left. Okay. But that pretty much wraps up the video, man. Um, Lord's will, this was edifying to the body of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai, uh, the members of the elect. And until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh about Shemuel Shai, Rahawakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. That's